You're listening to The Breakfast Club on a Friday. Dean and Brian with you on AM 980 WCUV this uh, Friday morning. Sunshine at 32 degrees again. Guess what's going on out there at the moment. Shane Michael Taylor. He was born with cerebral palsy. It's a severe physical disability. It affects one's speech for one thing, among other things. And uh, you would think, I mean, even someone who's relatively healthy says, I'm going to be a big country star someday. is going to have people tell him, I yeah, sure you are. It's a shame, though. Person. He probably got more of that than the rest of us. He's made it though. He's starting a career. I think he's uh, been on tour now for like a year and joins us by fall here in the breakfast club. Hi, Shane. How you doing? Hey, good. How are you? I'm pretty good. Dan, by the way, is the one who's going to help uh, make us all understand what Shane is saying. So if you're wondering what's going on, that, that's it. Uh, Shane, you started out, I guess, with just a dream. I mean, you know, you looked at because my mother was very musical. Um, but when I was in the sixth grade, I was encouraged to participate in an after-school horseback riding program. And long story short, the program concluded with a horse show. And during the opening scene, we all rode into the arena, and they were playing Standing Outside the Fire by Garth Brooks. Mm. It was a very, very earth-shattering moment because the lyrics of the song really shook me deep down in my soul. I mean, here I was riding a horse when only a few weeks ago I couldn't even sit in a chair. That was the very moment that I discovered the power of music, and I, I knew that if just one song could bring out such intense emotion in me, I had to be a part of it somehow. I just knew that music must be in my future, and that's when I started listening to music religiously and began writing my lyrics. Hey, Shane, who, who are some of your all-time favorites? You, uh, you mentioned Garth Brooks. Who are some of your, your, the other guys you kind of look up to? Garth Brooks and Kenny Chesney. And uh, also Toby Keith. Okay, Some like of the best. Yeah, yeah. They certainly are. Good choice. I bet you feel pretty good. How does it feel to release your debut single now after this much time? He said it's exciting and, and he's, he feels blessed. It's been quite a journey since the horseback riding program, and I, I didn't exactly know how music would be in my future because, after all, I, I can't even talk on key, never mind sing a note. To think that I'm releasing my debut single from an album of songs written by me is it, quite mind blowing. I mean, I've always believed that I'd be a part of music, and it worked out much better than I could have ever imagined. Uh, you put out an audio book, too. Now, this is kind of inspirational. Uh, it's a little bit about yourself, I think, isn't it? Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, I really just wanted to document my journey and just show everyone that even though we all have our unique challenges and obstacles in life, we, we can walk through our own personal fires to accomplish what we're meant to do just by putting our mind to it. I, I just want to inspire people to live their lives to the fullest and never give up on what they believe in. And I figure that I'm in a position to get this message out and show them that anything, I mean anything, can be accomplished if they believe in themselves. Hey Shane, you, uh, in some of your, your songs you, you talk about some, uh, some rather personal uh, journeys and uh, obstacles that, that you have had throughout your life. You want to talk about a few of those? What, what made you want to share those? Yeah, 
Yeah, he. I, I talk about all of my hardships from dating, even to an attempted suicide, and it was really a tough decision to open up about these experiences. But I figured if I could help just one person who's going through something similar, then I've done my job because we all go through tough times, and it's easy to get discouraged. I just wanted to show that it's entirely possible to make it through some of our darkest days, and that everything has its way of working out. Uh, the song that you have, although you've, we only have one, I think you have a lot more than that, but this one's called Warrior Cowboy. And now you wrote that song, I guess, and someone down in Nashville, I'm not sure, I can't remember the name of the uh, uh, singer, actually put it together and recorded it. Do you want to describe that song a little bit for us? <laughs> Yeah, it was actually recorded by Josh Helms down in Nashville. Uh, thanks, Josh, if you're listening. Uh, it was written by myself and my buddies, Kellyanne and Justin, um, who I'm also thankful for. Uh, and the song, I mean, it really just sums up who I am the most. The, the bridge really just encapsulates my approach to life. And it goes, I don't need a kneel to say a prayer to thank God that I'm still here. Very powerful. Because we all, in one way or another, fight for what we believe in and have battle scars. And no matter how wounded we get, we, we still have our spirit, which can never be destroyed. And this idea for a warrior cowboy, um, it actually came to me after watching a news story about soldiers who had been severely wounded and disabled while in combat. And just seeing their stories and the footage of their challenges, it, it really struck a note with me. I mean, I was born with my disability, so it's the only way of life I know. But for many of these guys, it's a whole new way of life for them and their families. It's, it's really traumatic for them. Yeah. And to think of what they've sacrificed in battle fighting for us, it just sends chills up my spine. Since they're facing similar challenges as I am, I, I felt that I was obligated as a songwriter and artist to write a song in honor of them. Hey, Shane, without being able to necessarily sing the songs you write, how difficult is it to write them? How difficult is it to come up with the notes and, and put all that together? I actually, I, I have a couple of degrees in music from the University of New Haven here in Connecticut. Uh, so writing isn't uh, too difficult physically. Um, it's actually quite a process, but I basically write the lyrics and maybe a melody and, and, and an outline for the chords, and then I, I take it down to Nashville where I have uh, many amazing co-writers who really help me just piece it together, and uh, you know, then we get together and we get some amazing musicians to, to perform uh, the song. I'll tell you what, why don't we listen to that song? It's called Warrior <laughs> Cowboy, and uh, who, was it, who was it that sang it again, the name of the artist from uh, Nashville? <laughs> Josh Helms. Josh Helms. Okay, uh, Dan. And when did you write this one, Shane? It's uh, about a year ago, almost to the day. Oh, okay. Right. We're going to listen to it. Uh, Dan and Shane, you want to stand by? Absolutely. Okay, we'll uh, talk to you again uh, just after this. It's a pretty good song. It's called, again, Warrior Cowboy. <laughs> Good song, isn't it? That's called uh, Warrior, Warrior Cowboy. It's uh, written by Shane Michael Taylor, our guest this morning on The Breakfast Club. Congratulations, Shane. That uh, caught my attention. I hear a lot of songs during a given day, let me tell you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. That's a hell of a song, Shane. Hey, listen, when you write songs, do you, uh, I don't, I didn't notice it in your talking points that you guys sent along. Do you play guitar? Do you play piano? <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, he pretty, I pretty much just deal with the uh, writing of the, the lyrics and a little bit of the music itself uh, because my uh, physical disability doesn't really allow me to um, function with much fine motor skill. Uh, you're um, going to make a music video, I think, out of this. Is that what I get from this here? That's coming up next. <laughs> Yeah, you know, we're working on a music video for the single. Uh, we're going to start shooting in a few weeks, and it's going to be super powerful. Uh, hopefully it will be available early next year. Mm -hmm. If you want to keep up with that, um, you could actually head over to our website, warriorcowboy.com. Uh, where you can listen to the song and even download a free chapter from the audio book. But uh, definitely check that website uh, for updates on the album release as well as that video. And you can listen to that song on that website too, is that right? <clears throat> Absolutely. How long does it take to put together, to put together a song like that? The, the, the lyrics, the verse, the chorus, all that stuff, does is, is that take some time or does it just kind of come to you? <clears throat> That one only took about an afternoon to write. Oh, yeah. wow. Impressive. That's just, yes, Extremely. Yeah. That's really And you have an old, that's only one uh, kind of the lead song of a whole CD, I guess, right? Yeah. 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 Yeah, the album is going to be great. It's currently still being worked on. I've got a good friend of mine down in Nashville who's still mixing and mastering, mm -hmm. but that should be out sometime early next year, so you could keep up to date with the website and uh, check there for, for any updates. Okay, Dan, Shane, uh, one more time on the website so people can go there and check all of this out. What is it again? It's pretty simple. Absolutely. That's warriorcowboy.com. All right. Uh, you'll be able to get that uh, song you just heard. Let's find out about the progress of the making of that music video. And uh, I guess there's some downloads from the audio book that you can get from there too, right? Absolutely. All right. Hey, right. Shane, congratulations on your efforts, man. You've overcome a lot. Those are big hurdles. That's absolutely fantastic. Thank you. I, I you. Thank you very much. I really appreciated speaking with you today. We've enjoyed having you. Absolutely. Both of you, in fact. Dan, Shane, thanks a lot, and good luck in the future. Yeah, thanks, guys. Thank you. Have a good one. It's 14 till 10 now from AM 980 WCUB. Shane Michael Taylor and the well, That's a hell of a story, isn't it? Country, mu that's country musician. It's amazing. That's a great yeah. story. It really is. It's absolutely incredible. Yes, and it's a great song. I really like that. Cool song, yeah. yeah. Our guest, anyway, this morning on a Friday morning breakfast club. And 32, I think that's the last time I saw a temperature. It's starting to warm up as we head for a high of about 50 under sunshine.